What is going on you savages, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more WWE 2K19 coverage. And today I'm going into details on who I think will be WWE 2K19 cover star. And I feel like I cracked that big question based on my observation which I'm about to go in depth and explain it to you guys. Before we get into it though, quick reminder, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and turn on those notifications to be fully up to date on on everything in regards to WWE 2K19. Just like previous years, I'm gonna be covering it and keeping you guys up to date on all the reveals, the news, speculations, and so on. So to not miss any of that, make sure that you guys hit that bell notification on. As for this video, it is based on a pattern that I have noticed on social media over the last two months. In this pattern, I feel like WWE Games has been teasing it so that we keep the cover star in mind. Nonetheless, let's try to go for 500 and plus likes and let's get right into this video all right guys so i'm currently in my pc i got uh, the wwe 2k18 twitter open and i also got uh, the wwe 2k18 instagram open now the post that they make on either of these is basically the same it's just kind of like a copy paste but something that's very interesting it kind of started yesterday and it's basically what i'm talking about so to start off around 6 uh 6 44 p.m I tweeted out this, waiting for WWE 2K19 info, like, at WWE Games, hi. And of course it was at Daniel Bryan. I put Daniel Bryan for a particular reason, especially because I think that Daniel Bryan could be the cover star for this year. And then we had Tony doing almost the same thing. A couple of minutes after me, ready for WWE 2K19 cover star to be revealed. With Daniel Bryan in it, again. And again, both of these tweets were liked by WWE Games. Now, they like a bunch of tweets, obviously. It's not necessarily that they like the tweet. It's more like they like the same type of tweet. And then I started to realize something after that, which is probably the most important thing. And that is everything that they have been tweeting about or, you know, Instagramming, which is, uh, this again, it's the same thing. Usually, whatever they post on Instagram, they post it on Twitter. Whatever they post on Twitter, they go on and just copy paste it onto Instagram. So if you go all the way down, and this is where I actually want to like get things started, you know, right here. Okay, this one right here. Would Daniel Bryan compete in a WWE ring again? Yes, yes, yes. So this was the day that Daniel Bryan basically went out and announced that he is clear to compete, or that we got the breaking news that Daniel Bryan is clear to compete. Great, they made a post about it, which, you know, it's nothing special because we love Daniel Bryan, so we all tweeted about it, we all Instagrammed about it, and uh, whatever. So that went out, and obviously, you know, they usually show the hashtags, WWE2K18, Daniel Bryan returns, and so on, right? I mean, obviously, the comments were like crazy, please, we want 2K showcase mode, and all of that stuff, so pretty cool, okay, so... This is kind of where everything kind of like started, right? Like, I went back and I started noticing something. So, this is March 20. After this, we had so many Daniel Bryan posts compared to any other superstar post that they ever talked about, okay? So, Daniel Bryan again. This is uh, Daniel Bryan back in action. Who are the top three opponents you would like to see him face? Very interesting, okay? Nothing too big because it was during the same week and this was on what? This was the day after, I believe it was. Yeah, a day after, March 21st. We keep moving up. We see some Braun Strowman and stuff. They just tweeting out about up, up, down, down videos and stuff, which uh, which has Seth Rollins in it. So it is relevant to what they've been doing. Some Road to Glory stuff. Great. Some pretty, uh, pretty awesome stuff so far more promotion for wwe this was during wrestlemania season at this point so there was a lot of wwe 18 talk during that time especially the edition that came out uh aj styles again wwe 2k interviews and stuff so nothing too crazy so far a good variety of things so far right like nothing is too obvious at least just yet in my opinion and then we start getting into you know, after WrestleMania and stuff. Okay. 
Would Daniel Bryan get a chance to punch his face? I said, like, would Daniel Bryan get to punch the Miss because the Miss was drafted? Okay, we got more Daniel Bryan stuff. Now, very interesting. This is basically the only tweet that they tweeted about the shakeup that happened. Okay, and it has to do with Daniel Bryan in it. So very interesting, the fact that they're focusing on that. Then we get to the greatest Royal Rumble event, and look at this. Out of everything, they're talking about Daniel Bryan. Big ass WWE put an end to Daniel Bryan record-breaking run in the greatest Royal Rumble. Will Bryan get his revenge tonight on SmackDown Live? So again, they're talking about what's going to be happening later on in the night, but it's interesting to see that this is not the only thing that's happening later on in in that particular night, you know, like Daniel Bryan wasn't the only person screwing the greatest Royal Rumble. Like there's more to it. There's more stuff happening with other superstars, but they're choosing Daniel Bryan to talk about. Or maybe I'm just looking way too much into it. All right. But then we get into a little bit more of this. All right. Yes, yes, yes. We get to see Daniel Bryan battle Big Cass tonight at WWE Backlash. Again, like there is much interesting stuff to look at over here. There are hyping up the the Samoa Joe versus Roman match as well, but they're hyping up Daniel Bryan for sure. And again, we got three big Money in the Bank ladder qualifying matches on SmackDown Live tonight. How do you want them to turn out? Out of all these superstars that are gonna participate in these matches, they pick Daniel Bryan. All right, it's like they want us to have Daniel Bryan in our head right now, okay? Like, the Daniel Bryan tweets are getting out of hand over here. <laughs> they're, they're getting a little bit too much, okay? Moving on. Nothing much over here, but then we get here, okay? Again, two back-to-back. -back. Here we go. Daniel Bryan and Jeff Hardy go at it to compete tomorrow on SmackDown Live for a Money in the Bank ladder qualifying match against Samojo next week. This wasn't the only qualifying match on, on this night. I think there was a female qualifying match as well. And again, Daniel Bryan. Moving on. Do we hope that Daniel Bryan has a great birthday today? Yes, yes, yes. Obviously not a big thing. It's Daniel Bryan's birthday, but you know. So they wishing him a happy birthday. They tweet out again about the Money in the Bank qualifying match that involves Daniel Bryan. Okay? They're, they have talked about Daniel Bryan so far within the last month at least 10 different times, okay? Which is more than any other superstars that they talked about, which is incredible. It, it, I mean, I don't know if there's something to say about that. Right here. Congrats to Samoa Joe for taking the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match on SmackDown Live. Of course, he defeated the one and only Daniel Bryan. Going into Twitter, again, they like the Daniel Bryan's tweet, which is very interesting. Back to back to, you know, maybe giving us a hint that something's coming. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's the case. I don't know if that is the case, but very interesting. Now, when we go to, let's go to the media aspect of thing. I think it's the media, yeah. There's more to it, you know, they still tweeted out more stuff. Again, last night, Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan wasn't the only thing that happened last night on SmackDown Live. That's a miracle. I mean, this week, I should say, on SmackDown Live, right? So it's like, why are they choosing to put an image of the match that Daniel Bryan is in when there were other matches in the night, you know? Like, show some love to other superstars. But again, maybe this could be a, something that they're trying to do with kind of get us daniel bryan into our head you know listen daniel bryan is back uh and he's back in reaction so it's a very good indication that he could be back as wwe 2k cover you know he was in the cover for 2k 14 but it was a fan made cover it was like a competition type thing and he made it there so pretty cool to see him there but now like over the last month since march 20 a little bit before that too they just been tweeting since April and so on. Since Daniel Bryan been clear to compete. They've been tweeting about Daniel Bryan more often than any other superstar, I should say. The fact that they're tweeting about Daniel Bryan and Instagram and putting Facebook posts about Daniel Bryan more than anybody else in the roster might be a good indication that maybe, just maybe, 
Daniel Bryan is going to be the cover star of WWE 2K19. So there you guys have it. Let me know down in the comments below if you think I'm going crazy or if you think that I actually make a good point over here. Maybe I let one tweet get to my head or whatever it is, but I decided to go into it and at least try to figure it out who will be the cover star before it is actually revealed, probably in June just like they did last year. Now, as I said at the beginning, guys, obviously this is not confirmed, but once it is confirmed, just like any other news is confirmed for WWE 2K19, I will be covering it right here on the channel so make sure that you guys turn on those notifications let me get a hashtag savage in the chat followed by who do you think will be the cover star of 2k19 whether it is a male female whichever one it is let me know down in the comments below nonetheless you savages we're under 100,000 subscribers